Do you want to create your website displaying images in 3D like this? You must know the right way to do it. You will find every step because we are going to load these images on top of these planes. But until the images are loading, we will just display colorful planes rather than showing loading screen. Because you know on the internet images take time to load. So till that time the user will still see the colors. So take the code you made in the previous tutorial, link to code and video explanation in description. Did you see the videos on this channel on creating 3D web designs? If you haven't seen this video, link in description, please see it first. If you haven't yet changed the title, please change it. I'm just going to my website and copy the tagline and paste it here as a subtitle. Next, I'll be using all the same web design images that I have added to my website. These are here in a folder. I'll select all the screenshots and copy paste them in a image folder. If you have many screenshots, we can rename the files as 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on automatically. Write this exact chat GPT prompt to get the Python code. Now run the code in Python and here's a video on how to install Python. You will find the link in description. We will open IDLE and click on file and click new file. Now paste the Python code here. In the code, change the folder path. Copy from the address bar and paste it here. Click on run and click run module. It will ask you to save the script. Save it to your most important favorite secret folder for using this code again next time. Fast rename PNG. Now it's running and renaming all the files to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. But one file did not rename, it is jpeg. The best thing I'll do for now is delete it. So now we have all the files ready. Besides the HTML, we have JavaScript that is doing the most important 3D rendering and animation using the 3JS library. Look carefully at the code. We are creating plane geometry and the for loop will create its copies just like we did with the spheres in our previous tutorials. So let's add the images to these planes. Simply write how to set textures to each plane 1.png, 2.png. This is how ordinary people like me can do it. I'm sure you can use your imagination and do so much by generating code in short time without having to go through a long process. I'm just pasting this replaced code here and only write the name of your image folder here. Most important thing is you need to run a local host server to test it. Without this, it's not possible for JavaScript to load the image files. It will give a course error, C-O-R-S error. Let's check it in the browser first. There are no images and nothing 3D. So let's refresh and still no images. The issue is maybe you have not liked and subscribed yet. Please do it immediately. So in this situation, we can open the console by pressing Ctrl Shift I. It displays that the plane count is already been declared on the line number 25. Let's see it. We have declared it twice. Just delete this line and refresh. The image textures are loaded but the colors on the planes are still present. For now, just comment away the color and comment away the shininess because it's too bright. But still too bright and have you noticed the textures appear rotated to 90 degrees? Let's find the reason why there is so much light on these. Let's reduce the point light from 1 to 0 0.1. Also another one to 0 0.1. Now refresh. Now the images are not that bright but appear pinkish. You can keep this as it is if you have monochrome designs. But in this case we have colored images. So let's make them look normal. And also change the number of images to 24 because we have 24 PNG files in the image folder. Now with all the images, it has begun to look much better. Now let's see where the code is making it look pinkish. The lights are both white, but there is ambient light here. Let's make it white. Write the code F6 times, refresh to see it. Now two things remain, one is rotating, and second is making them rectangles instead of squares. Let's go back to the code and here is the plane rotation. 
that rotates the y axis to 90 degrees. Instead, let's try rotating by x axis. Now we have the images correctly rotated. But when you look closely, they appear flipped. So just add minus here. And now it's alright. If you have square shaped images, we can keep our planes square shaped. But if we want to make them rectangular, it can be done by changing these values of planes, height and width. Let's see our images. All are landscape and none of them is portrait. So let's try updating the values here. No, actually, let's just increase this to 2. Now just observe it carefully to make sure to leave no defects. Have you noticed that all the planes are of same size? Let's add a little variation to make them random size. We can make some necessary changes in JavaScript like find and replace variable names like radius with scale because there is no radius and multiply this scale to the height and width of the planes. Now we have the variation in scale here. Adjust our randomness. Actually we can change the button text to build your website. I think it makes more sense. You can comment below what you think. One problem with the images is when they are loading, the planes are black. This will be a problem on the website and we don't want to show a pleased wait or loading circle animation. Let's try if we can set colors like before till the images are loaded. Let's write white as a fallback. No, it doesn't work when you are loading textures. Let's look at the code if we can do something with the for loop that loads the images. Try this prompt. How can I set fallback color till the textures are loading? Well, this code is not suitable. Copy and paste our code within the prompt and give it more context of the situation. There is a new generated code. In this approach, it is creating a default material with default color and when the textures are loaded, it will apply the textures. Let's try. But it's updating all the images. Let's write again all textures getting same images. But every refresh is giving a different image. I think we need to go back to the basics and do it manually. Actually, we have applied the same material to all planes. And even if we apply the different texture to each plane's material, it's getting applied to all. So the idea is we will create multiple default materials for each one and then apply the texture on load. For this, we will need a new here. But we get an error. The default material is not a constructor. So let's take the whole constructor from here and remove the default material and put it here as a new material. Now it's working, but the colors are still there. But we have the unique textures loaded for each one. Let's set the material color to white when the texture is loaded here using the color code FFFFFF. There is an error and the error is in this line. Let's ask ChatGPT how to set and paste the whole line and see what AI suggests. Take this line from here and put it in our code and test it. Yes, you have made it. The colors were loaded before the textures are loading and the whole logic is working as expected. You can modify this line according to your images and who knows, you will do it automatically. Please subscribe, like and comment and share this video.